Pussybubble.com, page 4, The Housing Bubble, Harbinger of the Pussy Bubble. The housing bubble in the United States that led to the crash of 2008 is a harbinger of the impending bursting of the pussy bubble in the USA and the ensuing deflation of the housing market signals the inevitable devaluing of the American pussy. The risky credit that built upon the foundation of the American dream, the idea that home prices would eternally increase in value, as they had for the decades after World War II, brainwashed the middle class American pussy to expect her entitlement, her birthright, at minimum, a suburban life of home ownership and unfettered access to modern technological conveniences. Even as the manufacturing jobs were being exported overseas, the baby boomers were aging into lecherous retirement, and endless wars exponentially increased the national debt. American women were led to the cliff of the housing crash, like lemmings, continuing to expect for their families the life of carbon copy clone privilege that their parents had provided for them. Drunk on the arrogance of citizenship in the superpower that controlled the largest military industrial complex in the world, or was controlled by the largest military industrial complex in the world, and on the idea that home equity was wealth, they sat as queens in a fantastical queendom that was the envy of nearly every third world woman and man. But the fundamental lie underlying this expectation was symptomatic of the more deeply rooted lie about the value of the American pussy. Like the home loans obtained on cheap credit, the value of the American pussy herself was based on nothing but vain imagination and vain expectation, semblance without substance. Most of the third world women who continue to envy the American pussy are essentially worth more as women than their American counterparts. They can survive, they can sew, S-O-W, and sew, S-E-W, and they can do hand washing, they bear children, they maintain a focus on the household, and they have, relative to the American pussy, maintained their value as mothers and wives. In stark contrast, the American pussy market is in a bubble. A bubble that, when all is said and done, will dwarf the housing bubble. The American pussy is, by and large, a disobedient wench, a dyke, a feminazi, or a slut, a loud-mouthed, arrogant skank who overrules her husband, gloats in her perceived status, and thinks she is a queen. The American wench is grossly overvalued, and when the pussy bubble pops, the wench market will deflate by negative exponents. The housing bubble was driven by her vain expectations, fed by lies and disobedience to God, and its deflation in value is a sign and symbol of her own. She is a fitting curse, God's punishment sent to the American man for abandoning the enforcement of God's law. The American pussy is a living symbol of the American church, and the Western church is taken together. The whore of Babylon who thinks she is the bride of Jesus Christ, but is nothing more than a doomed Jezebel. She and her husband have collaborated with the slaughter of 55 million and counting innocent preborn babies, and their judgment slumbereth not.